In this case, we're performing multiplication between a positive, because if there's no sign, it's a positive, between a positive 6 and a negative 2. And so when it comes to multiplication or division, the rule is as follows. Um, positive multiplied by negative is going to give me a negative number. If I have a negative multiplied by a positive, that's going to give me a negative number. If, on the other hand, I have positive times a positive, this gives me positive. If I have a negative times a negative, this gives me a positive. So it's similar to addition in the way that that one worked out, addition and subtraction. It's similar in the sense that if the operators are different in any way that they could be different, either positive and then negative or negative and then positive, I get a negative result or I replace those with a negative. Um, same thing if they are the same, positive multiplied by positive or negative multiplied by the same negative, that gives me a positive result. So here we have positive 6 times negative 2. So positive, positive times a negative, that's going to give me a negative result. So I really just have to do 6 times 2 is 12, and because I'm going to be putting in these different signs, negative 2, it's going to become a negative 12 because of this rule here. So the answer is B, negative 12.